Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone LG G7 ThinQ. At the very beginning we need to remove the car tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined tray for SIM cards and memory cards. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 10 minutes we can proceed to the assembly. To detach the back cover we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationery store. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Usually the back cover is really tightly glued, but in our case it is glued on an adhesive glue. So in your case the back cover will be much more difficult to detach. And you need to be really careful as well. And we open the back cover. After that we need to remove the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 o The screws look like they are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order just in case. And it happens that the grooves in the screw holes sometimes prevent us from screwing other screws into these holes. Ok, we need a non-metal tool to detach the cover with a speaker and antenna transmission lines. We find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover. Then we disconnect the connector for the subboard. And we move on to detaching the cover that hides the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can hook and leave the cover. We also use a non-metal tool. On the cover there are many antenna transmission lines and of course NFC and wireless charging tab. In our case there is a lot of adhesive glue on the cover, so it is not quite easy to detach it. And with a non-metal tool we disconnect the battery connector and bend the cable so that it doesn't interfere with us. Now disconnect the connectors. Disconnect the connector for the display, the connector for the front camera and disconnect the connector that connects the subboard to the motherboard on the inside. Then we find the right place where we can hook and leave the motherboard. Make sure nothing is in the way and pull the motherboard out. And we can flip the motherboard over and detach the rear cameras. Hook the connector and remove the assembly of the two rear cameras. After that we can detach the front camera. As we can see the camera is recessed into the display frame. We carefully hook it by the base and pull the camera off. And we move on to disconnecting the headset jack port. We disconnect the connector and then also gently pry up the edge and remove the headset jack port.
Before we remove the subboard, we need to detach the cable that connects the subboard to the motherboard. We use a flat tool, run it under the cable and try to pull it off. However, the cable is glued to the head seam coating on the inside and we need to carefully peel it off. We finish detaching the cable and move on to removing the subboard. It is important to note that from the subboard there is a small cable that carries a microphone and it is also glued. So we have to be careful when we detach the subboard. We have to peel off the microphone from the display frame so that we don't tear off the cable. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and other elements on the back side. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. The battery in our case is firmly glued. There are several cables, we need to be careful not to damage any of them. And of course, it is important not to damage the battery shell. In this video, we don't use heat or isopropyl alcohol to avoid damaging the battery or the display. We use plastic film to cut off the adhesive base and tool to leave the battery. It is not necessary to forcefully leave the battery to avoid damaging the battery shell or display frame. At some point we can use a plastic card. It is very convenient to cut off the glue in the depth of the battery. But the film simply begins to roll up there. We are working from different sides of the battery. And now we can leave the battery with our fingers. It will be much easier to detach the battery. So we can remove the battery and see where the adhesive base is located, where the cables are located. Ok, at this point we have finished the assembly, thank you for watching and see you around, or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.